Hello kiddos. Today I have a story for you that's called The Queen Who Saved Her People. Do you know who this book is about? Well, let's find out. The Queen Who Saved Her People. In the long ago Persia, a land like a dream, King Ahasuerus decreed that the cream of all the young maidens be brought to his throne, and from them he promised to choose one alone. She'd reign as his queen, and she'd be his dear wife. What girl wouldn't live love to live that sort of life? A kind Jewish servant called Mordecai peered at the young girl's arriving and stroked his long beard. From far and from near, they have come by the dozen, but none are so lovely as Esther, my cousin. I'll take her to Ahasuerus's hall, and if it's God will, God's will, he'll choose her over all. The folk in the palace all loved Esther dearly, and soon came the day when the king announced clearly, It's Esther I've chosen above all the rest. Hurrah! cried the crowd. He has chosen the best. The whole kingdom stopped work to honor their queen. With feasts such as never before, had been seen. At first life was sweet for the happy young bride. Then Haman, a prince who was puffed up with pride, in some sneaky way got the king to decree. Now Haman's head servant, to him bend your knee. The other poor servants just had to obey, and Mordecai stroked his long beard with dismay. Jews bow to their God, said the gentle old man. Bow down before Haman? There's no way that I can. When Haman found this out, he narrowed his eyes and ran to the king with a whole pack of lies. The king, all befuddled, at last said, Okay, your head servant, Haman, will do it your way. And what was the terrible thing Haman planned? To kill every Jew in the whole Persian land. Now tears of despair flowed from Mordecai's eyes. Each street that he wandered was filled with his cries. It seemed from such evil could never come good. Then God's spirit touched him, and he understood. Queen Esther was Jewish. God gave her the throne, so her people would not face their trouble alone. A servant told Esther about Haman's plan. Oh, no, cried the queen. What a horrible man. I'll stop him, I promise. I know what I'll do. Have a feast for the king and invite Haman, too. And when the king's happy, his tummy quite full, I'll tell him the trick Haman thought he could pull. The feast was soon ready. The candles burned bright, but Esther somehow felt the time was not right. I'll have them tomorrow to another great feast, and then tell the king that his servant's a beast. So next day, the cooks did the whole thing again. The queen and her guest ate and ate and ate. Then... I've something to ask you, dear Ahasuerus, said Esther. Is there any chance that you'll spare us? 
would you have your queen killed and her people too? I thought that you loved me. Please tell me you do. At first the king thought she was just having fun. But then Esther told him what Haman had done. He what? cried the king, and did Haman shake then, and soon no one saw him, not ever again. Good Mordecai took over Haman's old job. He wisely and happily ruled the whole mob of servants who now like to cook and to clean. Our life so much better, and it's thanks to the queen. Then all of the Jews in the whole Persian land held a Thanksgiving feast. T'was the first ever planned. We thank God for Esther. To him we sing praise. We'll thank him and trust him the rest of our days. And Jews to this day every year read the tale of Esther, who showed them God's love will not fail. The end. So that was the book, The Queen Who Saved Her People, and her name was Esther. We love you kids. We'll see you soon. Bye.